The land down under has a history that stretches far before it was called Australia, and the indigenous peoples of the continent have had a rich linguistic tapestry as varied as the landscapes they inhabit. Australia is a name with a British origin. The indigenous peoples with over 250 languages and 800 dialectal varieties before European arrival had their names for the various parts of the continent. The most widely recognized and accepted indigenous name for Australia is Gondwana or Gondwanaland, though this is more a scientific term relating to the ancient supercontinent that included present-day Australia. For the aboriginal groups, there isn't a single name, but rather many, reflecting the localized way in which they view country. In Sydney, the local Darug people refer to the area as Kadi. The Murray people in Queensland use names based on their local environment, whereas in Central Australia, the various Anangu language groups refer to the land around Uluru with specific names pertaining to their country. But let's zoom in specifically on the name for the continent. The name Terra Australis was essentially a placeholder used by European mapmakers for centuries, a theoretical southern land. The British navigator Matthew Flinders popularized the term Australia in the early 19th century, but this isn't what the indigenous people would have called the entire landmass, because they didn't conceive of it as one single land entity. Let's take Marne Grook, an aboriginal game with clear echoes in Aussie rules football as an example. This traditional game didn't have a national name because the indigenous peoples had a very local-focused perspective. Similarly, the entire continent had no single name. So, the shortish answer? There's no single aboriginal name for the entirety of Australia, because their identity and links to the land were deeply localized. The names used were as diverse and multifaceted as the cultures that gave rise to them. Scott, out here in Portland, Oregon, I'd relate it to how our many indigenous tribes name their particular stretches of land, and that doesn't roll up into one name for the entire state either. The local Native American name for the place that's now Portland, for instance, is Near Chokiku, which was among the lands of the Multnomah tribe. Just like in Australia, local names for places have special meaning and resonance for the people who've been stewarding these lands for generations.